now we are focusing on a topic that is aurora you are aware that uh, during monsoon season in india there is lightning in the sky this is totally earthy phenomena that is there on earth only and it is concerned with only earth similarly in the sky some sort of lightning but not actually lightning is visible from polar region of earth particularly north of norway then finland russia canada all these countries uh, towards north side of that uh, this phenomena is visible and therefore that is called as northern lights initially but later on on discovery of antarctica it was discovered that yes on south pole also this phenomena is visible this is called as southern light simply uh, we are calling northern light as aurora borealis whereas southern light as aurora australis now uh, what exactly it looks like it looks like just uh, green or violet or like that colors in the sky they are rolling out in the sky during night time now you are aware in the polar region day time and night time that is of 6 months so during night time this type of uh, lights are visible in the sky this is very very beautiful scene i have observed from various videos uh, i am not uh, able to observe manually that means i have not visited that site but uh, on uh, videos i have observed that that fantastic Uh, sights uh, fantastic scenes are there from sky usually greenish color or greenish light is there in the sky this is not exactly looking like lightning but see what is the effect of lightning that sky is filled with white color light here instead of that it looks like green color but the sound is not there only visibility that is called as aurora borealis in north hemisphere or northern light and aurora australis is in south hemisphere or southern light now a uh, question is that why this type of lights are observed only in polar region so till here whatever my discussion was there that is on basis of geography but now we have to go in scientific level first now try to get clear cut uh, idea that earth is having strong magnetic field earth behaves like magnet and uh, say suppose i am drawing here this is earth this is north pole this is south pole now this north pole i am talking from geography point of view so geographically this is north pole and geographically this is south pole but in case of magnet the poles are exactly reverse so whatever my geographical north pole that is actually magnetically i am writing here in uh, this way that this is magnetic south pole whereas this is magnetic north pole keep in mind in red color i am showing here that is the magnetic south pole and magnetic north pole so whatever earth's north pole is there geographical that is magnetically south pole and whatever earth south pole is there that is magnetically north pole that's why suppose we are hanging out magnet in uh, that is free to move here and there like that suppose we are tying out or hanging out magnet then uh, it will always uh, look like north to south direction it is pointing north to south direction because earth's uh, say unlike poles they are having attraction so whatever magnets north pole is there that is attracted towards earth south pole magnetic and magnets north pole uh, south pole is there that is get attracted towards earth's magnetic north pole and that's why if you place a magnet magnet will place always like this north pole is facing towards this and south pole is facing towards this so earth is having strong magnetic field around it it is probably say we don't have 100% evidence 
but probably we are saying that earth's core uh, suppose i am going inside this earth then there is a core portion of earth so here i should draw a core they are divided into two parts outer part is in liquid state inner part is in solid state you may ask question as we are moving deep inside the earth surface temperature rises yes it is true and then why earth core is there in solid state answer is given as because of very very high pressure exerted by upper layers to the inside layers that's why it is there in solid state again all these theories are uh, based on certain assumptions nobody is able to reach till center or that core of earth all this is hypothetical based on certain data particularly what we are observing at uh, uh, during time of earthquake we gather certain data and on basis of that we are saying that there is some liquid outer core and solid inner core liquid is moving in opposite direction and solid is moving in opposite direction this spin motion is there and because of that again that earth core that is also called as knife why knife because if i am writing spelling here not k n i f e it is n i and f e you are aware these all materials are magnetic materials they are ferromagnetic substance so uh, it is made up of nickel and iron so as this core is made up of nickel and iron and it is in spinning motion it produces magnetic field and that magnetic field is experienced by us on surface and even in atmosphere also so this way first concept there should be clear in your mind that earth is behaving like a magnet whatever the north pole we are saying that is magnetical south pole and whatever south pole we are saying that is magnetically north pole now uh sun suppose i am drawing here a part of sun sun is a middle edge star so when i am talking of star a uh, star is having different phases in their life first that after birth of that star it is not stabilized it is giving rise Uh, when young star is there it is giving rise to flares some material is thrown away from that sun that we are calling as flare so that sun uh, sorry that stars are giving rise certain flares these flares are of several lakh kilometers in height or length rather and this way the, these stars are throwing out material from it again we are getting some different thing that uh, on maturing that star amount of flares released by star decreases out but certain material is continuously thrown out from these stars these particles are coming out from outer part of sun surface which is uh, above this sun surface there is a part we are calling as corona which is having temperature in terms of lakh degree celsius where electrons are no more bonded with nucleus and then they are highly charged particles they are continuously throwing away from surface of sun again on sun surface if you observe carefully don't observe with your normal eyes there are certain measures we can go by that method to obtain enlarged image of sun then certain dots are observed or spots are observed on sun surface uh, now we believe that probably this surface dots or spots they are because of low temperature region on sun surface there is cycle of these spots of 11 year cycle during that period when activity on sun is minimum at that time aurora observed is maximum and vice versa we are not exactly aware what happens but 
the sun is throwing out these charged particles now you are aware that charged particle in motion produces magnetic field around it so what is magnet magnet we can consider that charged particle is in motion that is considered as magnet so if electron is moving around nucleus then also it is producing magnetic field around it if proton singly single proton is moving with very high speed then also we have to consider that is having magnetic field around it so here sun is continuously throwing out these charged particles and these charged particles are coming towards earth continuously means not continuously but uh, on cycles it is emitting so when it is coming in contact with earth or it in vicinity of earth they get attracted they get attracted towards north pole and south pole of earth why because they are having motion they are producing magnetic field around it and that magnetic field get attracted them towards either north pole or south pole now we have a jacket of atmosphere the moment they enter in atmosphere they are charge particle they enter in atmosphere and they got contact with say this is charge particle which is entering here whereas it is having some surrounding particles surrounding atoms they are possessing out electrons as they are very highly charged they try to attract electron from these atom towards themselves electrons are attracted towards this nuclei or charged particles now we are aware there is energy level so this is higher energy level this is lower energy level when electron is here and it enters here it emits light that is difference level should be delta e and you are aware of this equation that e or energy is equal to hc by lambda you are aware h that is planck's constant c is velocity and lambda is wavelength velocity of light wavelength of light now here this energy gap is so less that whatever wavelength emitted that is in form of visible light and then we can observe this type of radiations so simply i can use one word here that is called as discharge of solar particles coming out from sun that is called as uh, aurora so when these particles enter here from surrounding gases electrons get attracted towards uh, their nuclei electrons are having high energy from higher orbital they are going to here and then energy is emitted while discharging that is called as visible light uh, that is in the range of visible light and this way we are getting energy or light in the sky so uh, this is uh, particularly visible from 20 degree from the polar region uh, just minute i must clarify you suppose i am writing here this is equator i should write here 0 uh, degree okay so 20 degree will come somewhere here but that is from equator to here what word i am using suppose this is north pole and i am keeping protractor here then in zone of 20 degree this phenomena is observed so that we are calling as aurora so if it is there from northern side it is called as aurora borealis or northern light and it is southern southern point then it is called as aurora australis or southern light so this is about uh, aurora now another concept is there along with that that is magnetic storms earth's outer part that is ionosphere it is consisting of ions and obviously if they are in motion they are producing magnetic field around it so that is a magnetic part or a magnetosphere is there now see what happen that this is used for radio communication whatever radio waves are there 
we are radio communicating the radio waves are going to this type of ionosphere and they get reflected back because of that ionosphere for particularly telegraph and radio communication we are using this but uh, there are certain disturbances in this magnetic field why these disturbances are there because sun's magnetic field is having disturbance or this type of charged particles are coming from sun and so uh, during 11 year cycle of sun spot many time there is creation of disturbance we are calling this type of storms they are called as magnetic storms say they are different from what we are having cyclone or like that storm they are different they are taking place in upper parts of atmosphere and they are not much affecting the earth's uh, life cycle but little bit impact is there in modern ways because they are having impact on our communication particularly radio communication is having impact telegraph and radio communication that is having impact on that so this is uh, and obviously if you are carrying out magnetic surveys then obviously they are having impact on that so this is about aurora and magnetic storms